Namaste guys, Rajesh here. So the Moto G is easily among the most popular budget smartphone in markets like India and Brazil. The handset offers a great value for money that can be matched by very few other devices out there. However, it has been a year since Motorola launched the last Moto G and since then, the smartphone market has changed drastically with OEMs like Xiaomi, Asus and even LG stepping up their game in the budget smartphone segment. To keep up with them, the Lenovo-owned Motorola is back this year with the third iteration of the Moto G that has been improved in key areas to make sure that it still stays competitive in the budget smartphone segment. So is the Moto G as good as its predecessor? Is it still the best Android smartphone in the budget segment? Let's find out in our review of the handset. The Moto G 2015 has a design language that is very similar to other devices from Motorola. The front of the handset looks largely the same as its predecessor, though the bezel surrounding the display has grown in size. Additionally, the speaker grills located at the top and bottom are now recessed into the body which makes them a perfect spot for dust and lint to collect. Unlike its predecessor which came with front facing stereo speakers, the Moto G 2015 only comes with one speaker which is located at the bottom. The speaker grill located at the top only acts as an earpiece. The back of the handset features a textured pattern which gives it a better in-hand feeling compared to the rubbery matte finish found on its predecessor. There is also a separate plastic strip located on the back of the handset that houses the camera, the dual LED CCT flash and the Motorola dimple and it does a great job of spicing up the rear design of the handset. One of the key advantages is that the Moto G 2015 has over its predecessor and other devices in the same range is its IPX7 certification. This makes the device waterproof for up to 30 minutes in 1 meter of fresh water. Make sure to check out our waterproof test of the Moto G 2015 to see how good its IPX7 rating is. The Moto G 2015 comes with a 5 inch 720p display which does not seem to be a huge upgrade over its predecessor. I found the display to be very dull at around medium brightness, however cranking the brightness to the max did help in improving the contrast and saturation. Apart from the dullness, the brightness level, viewing angles and the sunlight eligibility of the display were pretty good and won't pose any usability issues in day to day use. Like other devices from Motorola, the Moto G 2015 runs on a near stock build of Android. Due to this, despite coming with modest internals, the handset performs admirably in day to day tasks without any issues. The stock flavor of Lollipop is further complemented by Motorola's useful apps and services like Moto Display, Moto Actions, and more. With Moto Display, the display on the Moto G 2015 breathes to show any unread notification or the time when the phone is touched after a brief period of inactivity. As for its performance, I rarely faced lags or slowdown while using the Moto G for day-to-day -day activities. None of the apps that I use on a regular basis like Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Phoenix, Google Drive or Chrome displayed any performance issues. The smooth performance of the phone can likely be attributed to the near stock build of Android that the handset runs on. It is only when you start taxing the Moto G by playing games like Riptide GP2 or Asphalt 8 that the device starts struggling. While playing Riptide GP2, I occasionally encountered slowdowns, lag and drop in frame rate. However, casual games like Threes and Dots ran just fine. At the launch event of the Moto G last month, Motorola said that it has greatly stepped up its game in the camera department this year, and it shows. Motorola has equipped the new Moto G with a 13MP f2.0 shooter which is a huge upgrade compared to previous Moto G handsets. The device tends to capture natural looking photos and does not exhibit any strange post-processing issue. While the camera was quick to focus on a subject almost all the time, it did tend to struggle to focus on objects in some close-up macro shots. Make sure to check out our camera comparison of the Moto G and the Xiaomi Mi 4i to see how good the camera performance of the Moto G is. Thanks to the increased battery capacity, the new Moto G kills it in the battery life department. During my testing period of over 2 weeks, I consistently got around 4-5 hours of screen on time over a period of 20 hours. My usage primarily involved browsing, tweeting, lots of WhatsApp and Hangouts and clicking pictures. This was with two Gmail accounts constantly syncing in the background and primarily while using a 3G network. 
To conclude this review, I can only say that the Moto G 2015 is the perfect example of why specs don't matter. Despite coming with inferior specs, the Moto G is able to deliver a user experience that simply cannot be matched by other budget smartphones available in India like the Xiaomi Mi 4i, Leno K3 Note and others. It is for this reason that the Moto G 2015 is in my opinion the handset to buy if you are looking for an Android device in the sub 15000 range. However, if you are a gamer and love to play games, then the Xiaomi Mi 4i is a better choice because it comes with a powerful processor, better GPU and a higher resolution display. So that's it guys. This was our review of the third generation Moto G. Do hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you like this review.